Well, Adriana, um, it's good to meet you. I'm sorry for the circumstance. Um, I wish we were talking about almost anything else. Whitney, I'm very proud to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Um, this is painful for you to talk about. Very. Tell me what you're thinking right now. I just, it's really hard like, to have to come here and to like, try to get the help I need instead of being able to like, figure it out easier. Well, what does help look like for you? What, what would be a, an outcome that, that you would want? Do, I mean, do you believe that your mother has the capacity to be maternal with you? Or do you think this is damage control for your siblings? Um, what, where are you in this? Sometimes I feel like um, there could be like, and we could get help, you know, like we can try to get things to come back together and be a family. And sometimes it's hard because my mom, like I've given her multiple chances to fix things and, um, I've, got, I've tried going to counseling and stuff to, and like it just never changes. So um, and, at this point, I don't really know. And Whitney, Adriana reached out to you February 4th. What was it that told you this was not your garden variety student complaining about a parent? Her. She is mature beyond her years. She was a fabulous student. And her and I were able to build a really strong relationship. And I knew that, without a doubt, she, she wouldn't make this up. At first, this was, you were going to be homeschooled, right? Right. But no, that never happened. No. There was no homeschooling. Mm -mm. So you lost a year. Yeah. And when this started, you had a 4.0. Mm -hmm. So mom comes, you guys meet, because you're going to step in as guardians. She says she heard that you would take her in some way, so she comes and meets with you, right? Yeah, she actually called my workplace and left a message for me and I called her back because they told me it was a personal call, so I called her back when I had a break and she basically said, I overheard Adriana talking with her older sister and I hear you want to take guardianship. And I was a little bit caught off guard, but I said, I will do whatever I need to do to help the situation. Right, and what did she say? She said, I can't take it anymore. I can't stand her. I take out all my anger on her. Um, there are times that I hate her. She told me many different things that no child should ever hear from a parent. And so she just told you she's up for adoption. She said she's up for adoption. Either you come get her or you need to help me find a place for her. What do you say to yourself about when you hear that? For her to say that, about me, it really hurts because I do so much for her and she, it feels like she doesn't appreciate anything I do. When we were sitting at the table and she told me that she hated me and she didn't want anything to do with me, um, I didn't know what to say. I just, I worked so hard to make our relationship better and it just feels like she doesn't want to try.